Oh boy, do I look like I died. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. If I can fix this and then put you down. Oh, this sucks. All right. Hang on, guys. Let me just... Oh, excuse me. Uh, let me just put you down here. All right. Yes, my ugly mug. Okay. First off, I have a couple things here, but those of you that know I was making uh, my Toy Surprise bath bombs, which would be... Uh, here, I'll show you one. He's a bit dusty. Or dusty. He's a bit crumbly, but there he is. I have to draw his eye, but listen. This one has a smaller toy in it. But I just wanted to show you guys. I know a lot of people think, oh, bath bombs are so easy to make. They're just easy. You just mix your stuff up. You smush your two molds together, and that would be it. Well, I got news for you. <laughs> um... I'm actually kind of flipping out because I made, how many did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm doing a video! Sorry, guys. I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I actually made eight. Um, just put that down for a second. So, um, this time I decided, uh, I don't know if I can get him out. Um... This time I decided, just because the weather's been so bizarre and kind of humid and on and off raining and whatnot, I decided to keep them in the molds, which I don't normally do, but what I was finding is if I was taking them out of the molds, they would start to crack, so I'd have to kind of mush them back together. So anyways, what happened with the couple, here's one, I'm kind of bummed, the bottom mold's still on as you can see. This one had a small toy in it, but this one broke, so that's a write-off. Um, blue now um, a couple a couple I managed to get out so like I said there's this one that's out he's got a bit of a powdery issue I don't know so I got him out his eye is not um, I was making eyes out of soap and they've got two colors but what happened is with the pupils were falling off so I was just going to paint the pupils on but um, see this one turned out perfect so we got we got two good ones, um, but what was happening, like I said, I got two out of the molds, oh, three out of the molds, right, one, two, yeah, three out of the molds, so here's, here's another one I got out of the mold, he's got a bit of cracking though, this is what sucks, I think he'll still be okay, but he's got two eyes, and you can see what happens is the soap will weep, especially with glycerin soap, so these are not going to be super pretty, I may have to... I don't know if I'll discount these or what I'll do, but this one seems okay other than a minor crack. But what? Oh, I just pushed it. Maybe not. <laughs> so I will probably be having to do these over again. But this is what was happening. Look at this poor puppy. This has got a big... And that's the difference, by the way. When I put... I will show you before I even attempt to do that. When I put the toys in... And I have different kinds of toys. But, for instance, for this one... Um, Normally the toys are like this, okay? They're just little in a capsule that floats up. Same idea as my bling bomb. But for the younger kids, I was putting in the bigger... See the difference? The bigger toys. So these will float up. They're rubber. Kind of a weird rubbery plastic, whatever. But they're a little bit bigger. And I mean under adult supervision, so it's okay. But when I put the bigger toys in, what happens is the bombs will start to kind of crack. And by that, you can see what I mean, they crack. So I find myself having to come back down in about 10 minutes and, you know, I, I put the, the lid back on and I give it a smush. So I had that all taken care of. And then um, it just cracked again. I don't know if it's, like I said, the weather or whatnot, but this one... I have a problem. I got a couple. The cases or the other halves of the bomb is still stuck on. So, and I broke that mold. I don't know if I'm going to be able to even salvage. I think this one's going to, nope, see, there you go. I just killed it. I just broke it right in half. Okay, so that's two written off. Here's another one. This one looks like it could have been perfect, but look it. There's a little crack here. So I don't know. Like I said, if I can get some of these out, I still may I may discount them or just 
freebie it or I will no okay no broken 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 okay this is being a fail so out of this batch I've got one two three three good ones okay minor cracking like I don't know what's gonna happen with this one I might have to just write it off this one I had to push this one back together a couple times it's cracking around the seam a little bit and like I said I don't know if I can get this oh wait a second there we go okay so yay so I managed oh although see this is a problem guy he's got no eyes which is fine I'll just draw the eyes on the bottoms are a little bit powdery, which I can fix. The top is a way nicer texture. I am going to have to redo these. I've got a couple that are okay, but it looks like I'm going to have to redo. But while I was doing those, I thought, well, I'm going to make some mm, smaller ones for us. like for the Or for anybody who doesn't want a toy, they just want the cool bomb. So I did make a few of these, but this is the last one I molded compared to like the first one I molded. And if you can see... Actually, that's not the last one. Where's the last one? These are probably the last ones. They're very, um, you see that? So powdery. And I didn't change the recipe. I have not done anything different. I just think the weather sucks. So, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to, it looks like I'm going to have to redo. Um, I'm not going to waste the bomb mix. I will put them into a baggie, and if anybody is interested in some berry dust or um, whatever, whatever, I'll do that because there's absolutely nothing wrong with the mix. So, yeah, I have to got to redo and put my little guys back in. Okay, so that's that. I don't know what's going to happen. I know I had people who were really interested in buying these toy bombs on Friday, but like I said, I am going to... I'm going to have to redo... Oh, yeah, naturally. Look, now I get the top off, and it's still cracked. He might be okay. I don't want to sell these to you guys with cracks in them, though. No, I'm going to write him off, too. Sorry, I just have to. Um, same with this one, right? Is this one toasted? Yeah, he's cracking and falling apart on me. I cannot give you guys these bombs. I just can't. It's not... That's not who I am. That's not how I do it. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to have bags of dust... I'll do that one after. So these are going to be a redo, but if anybody wants the bags of powder, I'll do them up really nice, and if you're interested, I'll just, you know, like five bucks for a bag. It'll be a good-sized bag. But what I wanted to show you, which I'm super excited about, um, you guys know that Corinne does the uh, bath, bomb, bath bomb demos? Well, she really, 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 really likes my bubble bath Play-Doh. But she asked me about glitter, so I went... On a whim, on an urge, and I bought glitter. And I am so impressed with this stuff that I just had to share with you guys. Um, she wants me, I'm gonna attempt to it. I've got, I've got a Play-Doh right here ready to go for her. Yep, new ducky, see it's a ladybug ducky. Or I can change it if you don't want it. I'm gonna take this out, and I'm gonna wait till I hear from you, Corinne, about what you want in this, okay? But, I got, and this is funny, I don't know how many, look at, she sends this big box, puts in a box like this, there was, and then there's another box with absolutely, like, nothing in it, it's empty. I can't use American um, shipping boxes, so if anybody wants them, I can send them to you. Um, same with this one, but this one she wrote, glitters, yay! So the glitters came in here, but they also came in a bag, like, um... She could have just mailed me this. It doesn't... I, I don't know. It's funny. <clears throat> so anyways. And these are good size for glitter. If anybody knows who uses glitter, you don't use a lot at all. So let me just put these here for a sec. Put this away so it's out of the way. I can't lose this because I've got my invoice and stuff. Um, the only thing that really sucked, I have to tell you, I'm not happy with. I spent quite a bit shipping and that to get this here. And then... When the guy comes to the door to drop it off for me, the UPS guy, he's like, oh, it's COD. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? COD. I had to pay $38 on top of, I believe it was like $28 or $38 shipping. So by the time I've paid for all the shipping, I have bought these glitters like three times. 
So I think if I do this again, I will be ordering by the pound. I know that sounds funny. So if anybody's interested, but anyways, this is, these are cosmetic grade. They do sell all kinds, but I specifically pick cosmetic grade. Um, they're fine for water. These are good for a whole bunch of things, not just um, you know, but they're good for makeup, they're good for body lotions, they're good for you name it, and as well as craft. But they won't handle solvents very well, I don't think. They do have different kinds for that. So if you're looking for body glitter safe stuff, that's not going to hurt you. It can go in baths, can go in your lotions, can go in your anything, then check out these guys, okay? It's called Glitter My World. So anyways, this is the holographic um, silver one. This one is called Golden Eye, and it's 0 .00, 0 .00008, like microns. It's tiny. It's perfect for for. Um, like I wish I could show you, but it's so tiny. So, anyways, this is Golden Eye, and then this is my most exciting. I have Glow in the Dark powder. So I have some pretty cool bomb ideas brewing in this brain of mine that I will not be telling you guys about. I'm just going to do. But, Corinne, if you're watching, which, they're both holographic, but this is more gold. It's called Golden Eye. This one, it's, they both have rainbow view kind of look in it, but this one is more silver with rainbow. If you can have a better look, I don't know how good my camera's going to pick that up. If you can see that, probably not so great. And then there's silver. Which would you like me to put into your play-doh silver or gold that's what i would like to know because you're not going to wash with this one this is the one that you just hold under water so you're going to get glitter in your bubbles and in your tub if that's okay so that's i'm waiting for you to answer me to which one you want me to put in the play-doh okay and then i still will do you the washable play-doh or whatever it is you want just message me and let me know but as far as you guys the toy bombs huh i've got i have one package from before which is fine I got him, he's okay, so that's one, um, is he okay? Yeah, he's kind of okay, but he's got the smaller toy, and then I think, yeah, this guy's got a bit of a crack and no eye, but I'll draw an eye, so it's totally up to you, or if you want to wait for me to do a new batch, oh, this guy was going to be cute, he's got two eyes, it's the first guy, no, second guy I've done with two eyes. So just let me know. If not, I'm going to... These are, like I said, these are all going to be busted up into uh, a bag. And we're going to have some nice foaming... Um, I can just do foaming bath powder if you like. Or I can even uh, do foaming salts. But I don't have much salts at the moment. So it would be a foaming bath powder if anybody's interested. Just let me know. So anyways, yeah, I wanted to show you those glitters. Uh, my poor disastrous bombs. Oh, yes. Another thing I will be offering... This is, I don't do this very often, and it's not going to be a lot of them. This will just have to be word of mouth. If you guys have seen this video, or if you're interested in bombs or whatever, you know how people do sets or sample editions or whatever? I do make a few bombs. I've got a bomb called Diva, and I'm making a new one called Celebration or Celebrate. It's like a birthday bomb type thing. I found these, and this one says it's time to celebrate, so this will have three big bombs in it as a set if anybody is interested um i have this one that says celebrate so that's another celebrate different but same and then i have i believe it's two divas but they're different let me show you the diva one i thought i bought four maybe it fell out this is the one that says diva but the other one that says diva is red and it says diva on top so they're all so we'll have a couple for Diva. I do have to still make more Diva bombs because I'm going to make them big just for these special things. Um, and then I have Celebration, or I can even mix them up. It doesn't have to be all Celebration bombs or all Diva bombs, but I'll just make sure that there's at least one Diva in there and at least one Celebration in there, and it'll just be a mix of bombs. It'll be a set. So that's just if anybody's interested. I won't list them on my site. It's going to be sort of a, if you've seen my video and you're interested in buying something or you want something made for you, We'll do it that way because I don't have enough to like list it on Etsy. And um, I actually find Etsy can be kind of expensive, especially when, um, okay, sure, it's like what, 20 cents to do a listing. But when someone buys, if there's more of like more of those quantities, like for example, if I had say 10 soaps, so it would take the 20 cents off 
for the one that came off. It would charge me 20 cents again for relisting it or for renewing it because it's back up again. They take a percentage of what the soap costs. They take a percentage of, plus, plus PayPal takes a percentage and whatever. So I actually end up paying about, I don't know, it's just under $2 in fees for like a $4 product. So if you guys see my prices go up a little bit, um, I'm not really making anything. I'm basically, if cutting even, so I do have to bump them up a little bit, but I've been told by many, many people that I'm too low anyways as far as like soap prices and whatnot go. Um, I make all my own recipes. They're not recipes from online. They're not copied from anybody. I've designed my own with my soap calculator or the soap calculator and I design them for different reasons like, you know, more for sensitive skin or summer whatever i just i i just it's different it's not like you just mix you know your four oils mix them together and make it i really since i started making soap i wanted them to be and i don't want to sound like i'm bragging because i really sound like i'm bragging don't i but i'm not and by the way this is something personal if anybody's watching this see my shirt okay if you're watching you know who you are that's all I'm saying. I'm not mean. I don't retaliate. I don't bitch. But this is for you. And that's all I'm saying. Anyway, on that note, folks, I will be back because I'm going to try to make something. If I can get the humidity down here to go away, we might have a, a nice video. Or I'll end up having to do it in the kitchen where it's cooler. That's like the only thing I could think of. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that with you and... Yeah, this is pretty flippin' sad that I lost a few. Um, yeah, I gotta wash my bowls. I can't put these in there. Ah! Oh, did you guys just see that? Well, so much for that one. That was gonna be good. Oh, she was cute, too. Look at it. It was a girl. Anyway, yeah, it's not a great freaking few days for bombs, I'll tell you. Not in here, anyways. So... I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll have to make them upstairs. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't normally... I, I used to make them upstairs all the time in the kitchen. Um, and then just put them in front of the air conditioner. It was great. So I may have to do that again. I don't think the fam's going to be very happy about that. But right now, I mean, these... This is not my quality of bombs. Like, this is not... This is not cell worthy if you see what I mean. Like, look. These are way, way too soft. And my bombs are not soft that is just not like that's crazy that is definitely a humidity thing they just like sucked it up anyways guys on that note i'm gonna go and i'll talk to you next time all right thanks for watching